Greetings. In this video, we're going to take a look at how the Unmix song process interacts with other tools in Spectre Layers across three different music genres. Let's start with a dense guitar based rock track. Listen to this. Okay, let's move to the Unmix menu and select Unmix Song. All the Unmix Song layer options are checked by default. I'm perceiving that this track is all guitars, drums, and vocals, so here I'm unchecking the piano and other layer options, performing the process, and about 10 seconds later I have my unmixed layers. Let's listen to the vocals layer soloed. Much to my surprise, I can hear and see that there's a pretty strong layer of background vocals mixed in with the lead, and it appears to me to be the same singer. Let's see if we can sort those parts out. It's challenging because there's not a lot of volume difference between the two parts. Here I have the vocals layer selected, and I'm moving up to the Unmix menu and choosing Noisy Speech. Click through the simple dialogue, and a few seconds later, now I have the vocals layer split into a speech layer, which contains the vocals, and a noise layer, which contains the background vocals. Let's listen to the speech layer. And now the noise layer. Here in the noise layer, I've refined my view using display panel controls. On the vocals, we've used two AI-assisted processes to get this far. Unmix song and unmix noisy speech. To get more vocal refinements, now we'll turn to the manual tools. There are many options for different workflows and outcomes. If you wish to preserve all the audio data in a project, then your workflow will completely revolve around moving material from layer to layer. For example, if I wanted to further isolate the background vocals, I could choose the harmonic selection tool, select the background vocals, and perform edit, cut special, cut to layer below, and the selection is transferred to a new layer. In any case, now we can enjoy the track straight away with all vocals removed, both lead and background. Now I'll solo the layers. Drums. Guitar. Bass. And non-unmixed. Okay, next up, let's unmix this jazz trio with Singer. We Here in the Unmix Song dialog, I'm unchecking the instruments that do not appear in the mix, namely guitar and other. Now just by looking at the spectrum, I can already see that we've done a pretty successful process. I'll solo the tracks. Vocals. We have a love like no other love. Now we have more to share. Drums. Okay, here's the piano layer soloed, and here you can see that we have a little problem. 
The algorithm missed a lot of piano. It picked up a little bit at the end, though, so we know it has the right idea. We just need to help it along a little bit after the fact. Easily done. Now here I'm about to solo the layer called Non-Unmixed. The addition of this layer is new in the Pro 10 edition. When I solo it, we discover that this is actually where the majority of the piano part landed. I'm going to merge the layer called Non-Unmixed into the Piano Layer by dragging it into position under the Piano Layer and then performing Merge Up. And now we have our Piano Layer and we've achieved this with zero data loss. And here's the bass layer. And finally, the entire piece sans vocal. Our final use case for today is a music track featuring classical guitar and strings. Sounds like this. In the Unmix Song dialog, I'm choosing to unmix to a guitar layer and the layer called Other. And here we are with our unmixed song, Guitar Layer. The string part is contained in the layer called Other. Now listen to the layer called Non-Unmixed. It's mostly strings, but there's a bit of guitar in there too, right about here. Here I'm selecting on some of that guitar material. Here I'm cutting the selection from the layer called Other, and then moving over to the guitar layer and pasting it there. Now this part of the guitar track sounds a little bit better. Here I'm merging the non-unmixed layer, with the stray guitar part now absent, into the strings layer. Finally, now that we have the guitar isolated, we can bring it up in the mix a little, which might make a good difference. Here I'm doing it by adding a short VST3 effects chain. I can preview the process. And then apply the process when we're satisfied with the edits. Here's the original clip for reference.
After you get familiar with this workflow, you'll understand how the industry-leading AI-assisted algorithms in SpectraLayers work with all the other available editing tools to make this application the gold standard in Spectral Audio Editors. We hope you enjoyed this video. SpectraLayers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.